This is a great big, big problem. As you go for, for bed, just fearing the, the bites of mosquitoes. In April, I suffered from malaria at home. When I came here, the condition I was was not good. They even admitted me for some hours because the temperature was very high. Malaria is a very huge problem in Zambia. Um, it's really affecting especially children. I think that's where we're seeing its impact the most. There was no improvement until I decided to come to the health center. Once they are at the, the health center, they're able to receive quick intervention. One of the things that have really helped are RDTs, rapid diagnostic tests, because within five, 10 minutes, people are able to be tested and treatment is, uh, is started immediately. It's very important because malaria needs um, immediate intervention, urgent intervention, so it's important that we can do the tests. For the rapid test, all we need is just a prick of the finger. We just need a drop or two of blood. We put it on the test kit and then we use a buffer to mix with the blood and then it will show us in a matter of minutes. If the test is positive, there will be a second line that will come out on the test. It's very easy. Even volunteers can help to do that test. So in a place where we probably don't have um, enough staff or we're overwhelmed, a volunteer can easily do that test. What we do sometimes, eh, we also arrange it in the community, community health workers. They do the RDT there, they come with the positive results. So we straight away just engage them into treatment. If it's malaria that can be treated at home under observation, then we just give them the medication and they can go home and be treated. I recovered quickly after getting the dosage of quarter. I would only want to encourage my people in, me, in my community to say that if you feel malaria, go first to the health center so that you get first treatment. We used to receive a good number of reports. People were complaining. Uh, the nuisance the mosquitoes were causing, where they have been bitten by mosquitoes. So the demand was there. I'm a married, I'm a parent with nine children. Alfred, my last born. He sleeps under the mosquito net. This one is wet zone. He spends the night from here. This is my room and this is our bed. This is what we do every night. They are helpful uh, because they protect us from malaria. Once we go in, then the mosquito can't bite me. Others are even saying we're even able to sleep without, with our windows open because even if the mosquito enter, we find that each and every child or family member is sleeping in the night. So we are going to get the mosquito and we are going to get the mosquito. So we are going to very big help which they have rendered to us as Zambians. May you continue having the same spirit of helping. I think as a, a Zambian, I think I'll feel very happy because it means that most of the community members don't be suffering from malaria. The interventions that have been put in place are really saving lives and uh, we are seeing these children grow up who are going to be the future of the country. And so we definitely would, would like to see more funding, more intervention, so that we can come to a point of eliminating malaria because I think it's something that can definitely happen. It's a goal that is achievable if we all put our resources together. Every life is so important and so we need to save every life. <laughs>